Thank you for watching another episode of Tea with Tea, where tea time is me time. Today I'm spilling the tea on my mochi ice cream, mint chocolate chip. Friday Tea Bag Nation and welcome to another episode of Tea with D. I'm D. Today I'm going to be spilling the tea on another my mochi ice cream. I, I I love the product and shout out to my mochi again. You guys have sent me countless flavors to try out and I love you for that. <laughs> Makes me feel special. Today I'm going to be spilling the tea on the my mochi mint chocolate chip and I am. I actually went out and bought a shirt to kind of mimic the mint. Do you see that? <laughs> Shout out to St. John's Bay. And yeah, so my mochi, I did this for you. I'm, I'm color coordinating. <laughs> but um, yeah, take the photo. Okay, but yeah, no, um, if you guys are, if this is the first My Mochi review um, you're seeing from me, go back to my playlist, you'll see a plethora of other flavors. Um, but you guys know that I'm not a huge chocolate person, um, but I do, I, I can I can mess with some like, you know, mint chocolate chip, I guess. <laughs> I like the cookies. But yeah, so um, if you have no idea what my mochi is or what mochi ice cream is, it's basically like there's an outer shell you see here that's like a, it's like a pillowy, uh, it's a pillowy um, dough, right? Um, I'm trying to see what it's actually made of. Oh, it's rice flour. <laughs> it's a pillowy rice dough. And um, yeah, it is gluten free. Uh, it's no soy ingredients and it's made with milk from cows, not treated with RBST. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So mm, there's usually six that come to a pack. Let's go ahead. Oh, I always like, mmm, have issues with like trying to get these packages open. But yeah, here it is. Yummy. There's like um, cornstarch or some sort of um, cornstarch that surrounds it just so that it doesn't stick to your fingers. But um, yeah, cheers. Let's try the mint chocolate chip. Mmm. 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 Mmm, okay. I'm assuming the outer part is mint. The ice cream tastes very much like vanilla. Mm. Some people slice them. I go right in. <laughs> it almost tastes like a peppermint patty. Mm. Mm. So good, so good. Mm. I think I'm gonna eat more than one. I'm here for it. It's not very chocolatey. There's a perfect amount of mint chips that's inside of the vanilla ice cream. You guys know that I'm a huge, humongous fan of those inner fillings. Um, that some of my mochis actually have. I think this would be amazing if they had like a mint filling in the middle too, just to give it that extra burst of mint. But it very much so tastes like mint. I, I tasted mint from this from the first bite. Um, it was so delicious. But yeah, I, I'm here for it. My mochi, you did it again. <laughs> I, I, I have to give this one a four tea bag rating. Four, 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 four. It's definitely delicious. Like all of the flavors are good. I would say that it's probably on my top eight. My top eight. I'll give it top eight. 
But um, yeah, I am so excited. I cannot wait for my mochi to um, come out with some more reviews. I was not able to uh, try their, um, their holiday um, flavor of the, the peppermint bark. I'm so excited to try that this year. So my, my mochi, call me. Uh, but um, but yeah, you guys, check them out. Um, go on their website, check them out, see uh, where they are sold near you. And um, if you're not a part of the Teabag Nation yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all the social media outlets. That's Facebook, Instagram, at D 2020 And if you're on TikTok, hit me up over there. We're 14,000. I repeat, 14,000 teabaggers strong over there. Um, and that's T, um, that's at T underscore with underscore D. And yeah, um, as always, thank you so much for watching. And remember, tea time is me time. <laughs> Bye.